this is going to be a full video review or overview rather of a Bergen that I have modified myself by tailoring on extra pouches. Is there anything I can do to improve it even further? Well there's always room for improvement with everything and because I have had a few of these S90 PLCE Bergens there's going to be a, an assumption that I favour this PLCE Bergen over others and it's not the case and this is the thing with the PLCE the S90 it's not generally synonymous with comfort at all it's a case of put it on your back don't moan and off you go but if you're buying from surplus and then modifying it yourself as I have then there is no requirement to put up with things that don't work you modify it until it does work now I only have the three basics here in the pack which is shelter insulation and a cook set and I think I may have some waterproofs in as well so very very basic these are what are considered your base weight so shelter insulation and the cook set shelter is going to be from a basher the shelter will keep the elements away whether that's snow wind or rain so I'm going to be dry the insulation comes in the form of a ground pad as well a sleeping bag that's a form of insulation everything you see here shelter insulation and cook set comes from surplus British Army surplus um, the cook set will obviously allow me to boil water to decontaminate it if it needs um, purifying it also allows me to use the ration pack food which is usually a boil in the bag and I can have hot drinks along the way so there's only three elements really in this pack shelter insulation and a cook set and damn it is heavy it is so heavy it's become almost ridiculous whether this would be a system for me think about it a tent a sleeping bag and a roll pad and a cook set shelter insulation and a cook set could be put in a hiking pack and that could be my bug out bag a tent a sleeping bag and a foam pad and you know some kind of cook set which obviously will include the fuel for it the stove and drinking vessels but I do want to keep this to British Army surplus which is how we're going to do this so we're going to have a look at each of the modifications on the pack right now and then discuss whether it was worth doing at all so working down from the top at the back where the shoulder harness is first we're going to have a look at the modification so far you might notice this here it's just a little pad and it can also accommodate an air pad and boy that is a back saver just there coming up here this is a floating lid and under it I have a sleeping bag stowed in a compression sack if you took an ordinary Bergen took it to JJ's and put every modification on I think your Bergen would be in the region worth somewhere around 400 pounds UK sterling 10 litre rockets that just simply unzip and I'm going to unzip one now because when this is not a bug out bag it can be a camp bag for a tent, a sleeping bag and a ground pad for wild camping put it on the beach, do a bit of fishing and I don't always need this rocket pocket and if I turn the rocket pocket over I've left the yoke system on so then I have a 10 litre backpack okay let's have a look on the side of the Bergen and you may remember this which is a brilliant modification if you want to transform your PLCE into something that is more suitable for recreational use is 
the mesh side pocket here look at the mesh on that really strong that is from an old jerkin a jacket which i cut into two and sewn onto the sides there if you want you could use that like a water reserve to put a camel back in there not recommended i don't like doing that but i know a lot of people do i personally don't but you can put whatever you want in there now the sleeping bag has been removed from the inner chamber of the actual s90 here it leaves 65 litres totally unoccupied so where does the extra literage come from if the main capacity is only 65 the extra capacity unmodified comes from this here which is your snow collar the front of mine is modified with further uh, pouches in here is usually a basher and all the pegs that go with it you know the ground anchors but in here i've got my rain jacket so there's where i would keep the rain gear and the basher itself goes in the existing top lid so far so i have two different examples here of the kind of cook set you could be thinking of putting in you could choose something like this which is the two-piece mess tins and a stove or this kind of option decision time classic mess tin with the stove in or classic 58 cup which is it to be i haven't decided but i'm gonna have to choose one so oh, so difficult so difficult if i discount the actual bottle itself which means i can put the hex stove here into my cup along with the lid my kfs and i should have a lighter here somewhere a lighter and the 24 hour brew pack oh brew i think i'll be having one of them in a minute that is all the space that is going to take up so let's get that into there these i think will stay at home i can still put a ration pack in the 58 metal uh cup pot i may even leave the 58 black beaker at home which will leave a utility completely unoccupied and it's all designed to be a boil in the bag pop the bag in that little pot put the stove under it heat the water the water heats the food and then you eat the food directly out of the bag so you don't need a plate and then the water that is just boiled your food and heated it you've got water then for a hot drink inside is a bivy bag now mine is the dutch army hoop bivy 1.6 kilos too big get yourself a nice lightweight gore-tex about 800 grams for the regular and softy suit here so when you stop get something warm to wear i have put a roll pad in and it's unfurled into layers like this and i fill the inner chamber best place to carry an air pad is not in its stuff sack but it's flat and it's against the back of the bergen smocks for me are heavy unnecessary bulky i have other smocks is what i'm saying that i have a preference for i'm not saying the smock is bad it's just not my thing british army do not use compression sacks what they do 
usually is put these inside the bivvy, twirl up the air out of the bivvy. But what I do is I'd rather use a liner. So apologies for not having a liner for the bag. It would get wet, the sleeping bag. So I'm going to ask you to imagine that I put a 100 litre liner inside the Bergen. Let's get the bag down the bottom there. And we can soon see just how full this gets very quickly. The softy suit. Now modern day sleeping bags are a lot more compressible. I do have the Fexca sleeping bag and go and watch that review because it does compress a lot. It's about two kilos for the regular, two and a half for the large and you can combine the lightweight and the medium to get down to about minus 20c including a bivvy bag. Now I do quite like the Dutch bivvy other than the, other than the zips which are terrible. So um, an 800 gram British Army olive uh, bivvy bag is going to save a lot of weight and room here. What I wanted to do is just put up a shelter here. And as you can see, it's a very simple setup using a basher. I put mine on jungle knots. I like it. Quick, easy. Um, roll pad is down, and I do have thistles underneath me, so that's stopping them from going up my backside. <laughs> if I needed, if I was out tonight, which I'm not, I do have that inflatable and. I also have the bivvy bag and the sleeping bag which can be deployed on top of this IXPE army mat. So the modifications have become key to me because it does allow me to open up a lot more space. I'm just going to get out of here so we've got some better light and we'll have a very quick chat about um, the actual advantages of modifying any pack or bergen. The biggest improvement would have been the floating lid. It allows me to take 25 litre sleeping bag uncompressed and stow it behind my head. So I still have 65 litres of unused occupation in the main chamber. It frees up a hell of a lot of room. Best modification you can do. Next best would be the basher pouch which I am currently stowing my waterproofs in not far off I don't like the idea of going into the pack to get a cup out uh, a cooking vessel my coffee and my tea I don't like going into my pack just a pet hate the side mesh pouches are brilliant if you're not using it as a bug out bag the trade-off literage to weight ratio is terrible. 65 litres for three and a half kilos, terrible. I can have 90 litres with my Berghaus at 2.3 kilos. Right, I think that's just about boiled. Well, let's get that in there. Oh, the string's gone in. What a dick I am. In conclusions, I've really enjoyed doing this project. 
Um, I think the biggest improvement is going to be the next one, the big one, stripping that back uh, system completely out. Hey, how that's hot. All I can taste is hot water. I cannot taste that tea bag. Cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap tea bags. If ever you've got uh, a British Army ration pack, get proper tea bags in. I think I'd prefer to do all these modifications on the short back. This is the long back. Long backs to me don't carry very well, but a similar shape and size to the short back is the turtle back which is the all arms engineer at 65 litres or 60 litres but it has a couple of straps where I can put the pad underneath and the sleeping bag on top so again I have an open space an open occupation on the inside of 60 litres and the all arms turtle carries a lot lot more comfortably than the S90 always has it really does need that last modification of stripping out the back system and I think I'll do that in the summer the modification series was only intended to be 12 episodes which at one a month would take me a year we've gone well over that we're in I think 14 months so we've had well more than our fair share of Bergen modifications and they're all there on a the playlist and the playlist is in the description whether you want to see how to make um, and so on your own components whether it's the basher pouch the side utilities the nets the floating lid the back system the ammo pouches I think there's about six or seven different modifications it's all there on the channel for you even if you can't sew there is a how to use a sewing all as well again uh, a project well worth doing but until that last modification we're going to do to the s90 which is the back system we have got a brilliant little series of versus videos so it's two packs every month put into a comparison and the packs will have their similarities and I'll give you my conclusions and of course just because of my conclusions doesn't mean that one opinion is right and one opinion is wrong all I can give you are my uh, the benefits of my conclusions or delusions I would prefer to use all the modifications and not use them makes a massive difference than using it standard using it standard it's just not there for me it's just not there the sleeping bag has to go on the inside everything else has to go on the inside including I take it your smock and your rain gear it's not necessary if you just learn your sewing all skills you can get a lot done and it's quick to learn a sewing all now don't forget please look in the description box and there is a GoFundMe and it allows this channel to all be done in 4K like this otherwise we are going to be stuck with 1080p um, obviously it'll pay for the software and hardware to actually edit these 4K videos uh, a standard PC it just will not edit it hasn't got the power and capability to do so but if we can hit our target we will get that DSLR camera uh, but the better software the hardware to edit with and maybe Bex bug outs fiver will go on another 10 years or <laughs> I'm not sure if I will we might have a new, new presenter by them so take care of yourself get in that description box to s find out how to use a sewing all as well as all the uh, modifications donate to the channel if you can if you can't go to the GoFundMe and just share the link in your social media pages so thanks a lot take care of yourself and I'll see you out there pretty soon happy trails That is disgusting.